Hello there, Capricorn. Amy Energy here. We're going to see how your person feels about you. Working with the Row Rig deck. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate anything you do to help my channel. All right, keep in mind it is a general reading, so it may not resonate for every Capricorn. Feel free to watch for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, but do use your own intuition. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay, we have the temperance card over our reading here. So this is a positive sign. You know, the temperance card definitely shows that we're capable of integrating the lessons that we've learned in life. So that's pretty positive coming up over a love reading. We'll see how it plays out. Okay, your person's current energy here coming out with the strength card. Okay, so I feel like your person could be feeling pretty good. Oh, wow. Yeah, we have the Three of Cups coming out, the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like your person here is someone who enjoys life, really, truly. We have the Strength card really showing a lust for life on this card, as well as the Three of Cups, which is just, you know, having those good connections in our life. So pretty positive here, Capricorn. I do feel like with the Page of Pentacles, um, your person could be a student. Your person could be, you know, just learning something new or just opening up a new chapter in their life. How they feel about you. Okay, we have the Four of Swords coming out. So we'll see how this plays out, but I feel like they are still kind of processing some things when it comes to you. Yes, I feel like they have a lot of thoughts when it comes to you, but I feel like this new beginning could be a new beginning without you in it, um, is how I'm kind of feeling here, Capricorn. So I feel like your person, they are still processing, you know, their thoughts around the situation, but I feel like they actually might not be you know, it's not like they're not thinking about it, but it's, they're like trying to keep themselves busy here with the Two of Pentacles. I don't feel like they're really trying to be focusing on that so much. Okay. The action they would like to take toward you, we have the Knight of Cups coming out. So I feel like they really do have love here. And they, oh yeah, they want to reconcile they want to come back together but they really want to be more cautious with their energy i feel like your person may feel like they've given more to the relationship than you have i'm not saying that's true but i'm kind of feeling that like they want things to be very um responsible here they want to be very responsible with the emotions involved okay your current energy here, Capricorn, Ace of Discs. So, you know, you are in a sense embracing this new beginning as well. Okay, we have the High Priestess and the Knight of Cups coming out. Interesting. So, and the moon is on the bottom. So, you here, Capricorn, are very intuitive in this moment. Okay. And it's kind of, um, it's interesting because I feel like both you and your person are very sexy, like your person's coming out with the strength card and the three of cups. So I feel like they're going out and they're looking really good and having good times. Okay, whereas you're more taking the more mysterious route where like you're very sexy but your person probably doesn't really know what you're up to you're not really showing your hand okay so it's like you guys are both in a the same space but yet different right like you're both having this new beginning in a sense 
but with them it's being more expressed as the page of pentacles with you it's being expressed more like this ace right so it's interesting like for you i feel like I just, I feel like you are, it's so much more intuitive for you. I don't know really how else to say that, but with the moon, it's like you don't have full clarity on what's going on. You just have feelings. Okay, yeah. Because this person, I do feel like they've betrayed you in a sense here. Um, or you're at least feeling betrayed by them. With the Knight of Wands, and the three of swords, I do feel like, you know, this is how your person thinks you feel about them. So I feel like your person knows that they hurt you. However, they feel that you are stubborn, like set in your ways. So like, you know, I feel like they're in a kind of a rock and a hard space because they're like, they care that they hurt you. And at the same time, they're like, you know, there was there was some sort of energy that just wasn't being well received in this connection. And it makes sense to me because the Knight of Wands, this is like your energy and your person is here in the Knight of Cups. So I definitely feel Capricorn, it could just be, you know, that we're not meeting each other's needs in this connection. Okay, we both need different things, and we might not be the person who can provide that. Um, so it does feel like a betrayal. Your person feels, you know, that you feel very brokenhearted when it comes to them. Your advice here is the Six of Swords, though. You know, and the Knight of Swords. Wow, okay. And the Knight of Pentacles, which is very interesting, right, because... The Knight of Pentacles is like the slowest knight in the deck, and the Knight of Swords is like the fastest. Okay, so again, I feel like it is kind of asking you, it's asking you to understand the fact that there's two different conflicting energies going on for you right now. So... It's so interesting to me. You know, I feel like your person, they really do want to hold space for you. They really do, they really do want that. But I feel like they just could be, uh, I want to say they're a bit more practical. Um, but then again, it's like, We have the strength and the three of cups here in their energy. So not saying that's an impractical energy. I just feel like you guys see things really, really differently. They wanted to say to you, if they have the courage, this is what they would say. You hurt my feelings. We have so much in common. I want to be like you. And on the bottom, I am emotionally unavailable. That's what I was kind of feeling like. They want to hold space for you with this Knight of Cups energy. But, you know, with you being the high priestess and having the Knight of Cups down here as well, you know, I feel like you want to hold space for this person in a certain sense okay but with this knight of wands you could be unlike anyone they've ever met before and that does make them want to work things out with you honestly but i don't know if that's you know honestly your best advice here i feel like is to understand that you're coming from two different directions, right? 
these two knights are coming out with the six of swords. So I just feel like Capricorn, you know, someone is a little bit more impulsive, chaotic here. Okay. Let's get a card for your energy, a card for your person's energy, and the bottom card over this entire reading. All right. So your energy here, your oracle says, Sergi Gainsborough. Gainsburg, sorry. Beauty is the promise of happiness and a guarantee of despair. When I leave, you shall have no kisses left. To love, you must ignore the difference between pleasure and pain. Ooh. It's so interesting. Yeah, I'm I'm really getting big energy here, Capricorn. Like your person, like just by being who they are, it is hurtful to you. Okay. Three of Cups, Three of Swords. It could be like them going out, them really, you know, the strength card. This is a big energy. You know, this is someone who really is getting recognized and noticed, right? Um, you know. Interesting, because it is this, I wouldn't necessarily say that with every version of the strength card, um, but in this one for sure. So that could be, that could be a little bit of an issue coming up, all right. Now your person's card, we have treasure those seconds when you felt your heart beating. Don't allow any tourist into your own private Paris. To love someone and mean it is a rare and valuable thing, Ernest Hemingway. Okay, so Capricorn, I definitely feel like your person does love you, okay? It's interesting. It's interesting. I feel like there could be maybe some jealousy in the relationship here. All right, we have Edward the Eighth. One night can follow you for the rest of your life. A king is nothing without the woman he loves. Make sure you own your kingdom and choose your own family. Okay, this is very interesting coming out over your whole reading because it's been something coming up and there's no gender associated with the kings but in this deck the knight is the king right this deck is a thoth inspired deck so the knights are actually the kings and we have two coming out right so i do feel like we both sort of have this assertive energy so regardless of gender it's like we have these similarities that actually could make us butt heads as well as, you know, we do have our differences. So it's very, very interesting. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and leave it there, Capricorn. Like, comment, subscribe. If you want to book a personal, you can do so, amyenergy.online. I would love to connect with you. You can connect with me on Instagram at Amy Energy, TikTok at Amy Energy 3. And make sure you do follow me on TikTok. You can get your questions answered there when I go live. Um, yes. Um, what else was I going to tell you? Oh, yeah. If you want to donate to the channel, I'm at Amy Energy on Venmo, Cash App. But most importantly, have a wonderful week. I love you. Take care.